to managing accounts receivable. Today we're going to take a look at a very high level at the functionality available in the accounts receivable module for Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. We're going to begin with some navigation basics. The first is the difference between sales and marketing, which really focuses on prospects, customers, and the entry of the quotations and orders for those customers versus accounts receivable, which is really used for the back office um, processes such as creating the customer invoice, recording the customer payments, and potentially even going into a collections process for delinquent customers. In accounts receivable setup, here's where we have a lot of the basic information for defining the parameters and options around accounts receivable itself. For example, if we go to collections under aging periods, here's where you can define the aging buckets that are relevant for your company. Or under payments, you can define your terms of payments or your methods of payments that are relevant for your customers. Or under accounts receivable parameters, here's where you define various options. You can see in your table of contents a lot of different options available, such as the collections parameters. Or if you do um, actually use credit cards, you can define your credit card settings here. Once you have your basic setup defined, we can also go to the customer list page to define the customers. All of our list pages are found under common. So if I choose the all customers list page, this will give me a view of the customers that are relevant for the company that I'm currently active in. If you do need to create a new customer, it does utilize the global address book, so you could select an existing party from the global address book for creating your new customer. Once your customers are defined, once your parameters and all of your setup options are defined, next we're ready to record invoices. And back on our area page, there's two ways to record an invoice for sales. The first is through a sales order. If the sales order has already existed in the system, you can choose the sales order and on your action pane at the top, you have the option create invoice. If we go ahead and choose to create the invoice for all lines of the sales order, what the system will do is create a copy of the lines that exist on the sales order for the invoice and then the appropriate changes can be made. The second way to create an invoice, if we go back to our area page, is called a free text invoice. A free text invoice is used in situations where you need to record a sale to a customer for things such as services or fees, and really anything that doesn't impact inventory. Once the invoices have been defined, you can also receive, of course, payments and settle those payments against the relevant invoices. Under Payment Journals, here's where you can define the payment journal, and if you go into the lines, here's where you can define the customer that you've received the payment from and use really similar functionality that we have in Accounts Payable, such as the settlement option or even payment proposal if you do have scenarios where you pull the payment out of a customer bank account. Once our payments are recorded in the system, we do have additional options such as reporting, inquiries that are available. Uh, for example, under status, under reports, here you can choose to print your customer aging. All of the reports in Dynamics AX 2012 have been converted to use SSRS. A couple other things under setup too um, is free text invoice templates. So the free text invoice that I just showed you, you could also define a template um, and then assign that template to a customer and have a monthly process under periodic where you generate the recurring invoice and then post those invoices that have been generated. From here, the last thing under periodic I'd like to just quickly show is collections. You can see under collections we have various options around the collection letter, the interest and interest notes that can be created. And let's just quickly take a look at the collections list page. The collections list page has been added new in Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. What we've done with the list page is we allow you to open up a customer who you can see is delinquent in some of their payments and actually have one new form called the collections detail form which allows you to keep a detailed history of all of your communication with the customer as it pertains to the collection process for your invoices. That concludes our overview of, of Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 Managing Accounts Receivable.